good. Out of this lioness, we're now just making sure everything's fine. What we're doing is putting an implant in to control her hormones for her estrus cycles. We don't want her breeding on the reserve because her fathers are the two males. So the procedure here is pretty quick and simple. We're basically just inserting. Well, basically, all we're doing is inserting small little devices like this not much bigger than what a micro trip would be and that's just going to regulate her hormones so that she's not going to breed with her fathers. There's, a, there's an elephant approaching so I'm just going to stand here to try and chase it away if it wants to come in this direction. Come on, come. Elephants did come and give us a little bit of a scare. They're still around the area, so we're just going to stay here and make sure that they don't come too close to her while she's in the process of waking up and finding her feet again. She's up and moving now. She was down for about half an hour. And we also just had the male next door giving us a bit of excitement from time to time as we were moving around. She should be good for two years now with her hormone balancing treatment. You might be wondering why we've done this intervention. Interventions like this are not ideal. They're very invasive, it's stressful for animals, and on a small game reserve like Ritzbret, unfortunately we don't have any other choice other than managing our populations with interventions such as this one. In natural systems, this is not a problem. But unfortunately, the overarching issue across the continent of Africa is habitat loss and fragmentation of populations so population fragmentation is when we have this fragmentation of a single continuous population into subpopulations. And what fragments that population can either be natural barriers such as rivers or mountain ranges, which have been historical barriers. But these days we have more of a human barrier that's brought in. And that can be infrastructure like roads and railway lines. It can be development such as cities and towns but it can also be the alteration of natural habitat into agriculture. Historically, lion populations were distributed across the whole continent of Africa, except for parts of the Sahara Desert in North Africa and parts of the Central African rainforests. And this population was continuous and the density of lions varied depending on the habitat available to them. However, from the 1970s, we've seen an exponential growth in the human footprint across the African continent. And subsequently, we've had this fragmentation of lion populations. So no longer do we see this continuous population of lions across the continent, and we find them in isolated, smaller populations in protected areas throughout Eastern, Central, and Southern Africa. As a consequence of these smaller and isolated populations, there's a reduction in the flow of genes. And with this isolation, we obviously have an increase in the chance of inbreeding. But even natural lion populations run the risk of inbreeding. In lion society, females are often held within a pride structure, whereas young males, when they reach maturity, are kicked out of a pride by incoming new males. So often what happens is when a female reaches sexual maturity, her father or fathers in a coalition will be at an age where they can no longer hold their ground against younger, stronger, fitter males that are going to come and chase her fathers away and killed cubs in a process known as infanticide. 
therefore she's going to breed with the new incoming males. And even in a scenario where a father is mated with his daughters or brothers with their sisters, it's unlikely that those cubs are ever going to survive. So that's how it happens naturally. New males come in and there's gene flow. However, we've erected fencing. And when you erect fencing, you prevent the inflow of new genes because you restrict the movement of animals. And that's exactly the case here on the Ritz Brake Game Reserve. On the Ritz Brake Game Reserve, we have two dominant male lions and we have five adult lionesses. However, four of those adult lionesses are the daughters of those two male lions. And due to the fencing that is around the Ritz Brake Game Reserve, we're not going to have new male lions coming in and displacing those two older males. So the risk of inbreeding is so much greater. Now that those four young lionesses have reached sexual maturity, they're showing interest in their fathers and their fathers are showing interest in them. There's a bit of flirting going on between daughter and fathers. Now previously we have had some interventions to prevent this, but this lioness has been showing more and more interest in her fathers as well as the two male lions next door. Ritzbrate management intervened in this process as we don't want inbreeding between our lions. In this procedure, the lioness received two 4.7 milligram Desilorin implants subcutaneously. What Desilorin does is it influences this female's hormones so that she doesn't come into an estrous cycle. What's nice about these two small little implants, it isn't a large surgical procedure, it doesn't take a lot of time, it isn't very invasive, and it isn't permanent. If we were to leave this population unmanaged, inbreeding would become a serious issue on the ritz Game Reserve. Negative effects of inbreeding lion can result in congenital issues like skeletal malformations, as well as neurological issues. It also affects their behavior, and you have less pride cohesiveness, and this results in just the population in general degrading. As it stands on the ritz Game Reserve, we still have the one lioness that is unrelated to these two males. And the plan is that she is soon gonna come off of her hormone treatments, and when she does, she'll mate with these two males and have another litter of cubs. And by the time those cubs are reaching sexual maturity, in all likelihood, these two males are gonna be old and we're gonna be bringing new male lions onto the reserve and the genes will be enhanced with the addition of new male genetics. As apex predators, lions are a very important species in a healthy system and they are known as keystone species where they control prey populations throughout natural systems and the same thing applies on the ritz Brake game reserve but due to the fact that we have fences and it's a small isolated reserve the natural process of new males entering the system and controlling the genetics isn't in play like it is in natural systems. Therefore, as the management of the reserve, we need to monitor the lion population so that we can keep our prey, base, and herbivore population stable as well. It's good to see that this lioness that we did this procedure on is doing well. In some clips here, you can see the blue antiseptic where we did the implantation subcutaneously. As conservationists and reserve managers, our primary target is the preservation of biodiversity. Therefore, we need to manage everything within relation so that the system doesn't collapse. This lioness won't be having cubs just yet, but that's exactly the point. We need to manage our population of lions so that we have a healthy system on the Ritz Brake Game Reserve. <laughs>